welcome to West Coast Grandma. Well, today I'm going to can salmon. We were lucky enough to limit out um, off souk right outside Chiana Marina um, in the last few days. And we have got a whole load of salmon that I am going to get into my pressure canner, get on the shelf so we can have for the winter. So I do have, this is a big uh, bowl of uh, pink salmon. That's all, my husband cut it all up, uh, getting it all ready for me to get into jars. And this one here is a Chinook. It was a white flesh Chinook, which you don't find as often, but they are delicious. And I'm going to get that all into uh, jars and get into my canner. So I'll take you along with me. I'm going to start with a video of catching this guy right here. So stay tuned. <laughs> The first thing I'm going to do is uh, cut the salmon into chunks so that I can put it into my jars. And um, I'm not really bothering so much about the skin because uh, once you can it, it just comes out. But in some of the bigger pieces, I'm getting pretty good at getting the skin off. So I'm just going to take my jar and my piece of salmon and any skin that's on it, you just put it to the outside of the jar. And I'm just going to fill the jar up with my usual half inch of headspace, like that. So there we are. See, I have a couple of jars filled up here. So I'm going to continue on filling jars. This is a little bit time consuming. And then I will come back and show you uh, my next process after filling to get it into the tank. So stay tuned and I'll be back shortly. Okay, I have my jars filled up. And I am only going to add two things. That's going to be a quarter of a teaspoon of kosher salt to these half pint jars and two peppercorns. So I'll do a couple and I'm just going to add it just on the top. You don't need to add any liquid. Um, I've seen people that add oil. You don't need to add oil either. I mean, salmon is oily enough. So two peppercorns per jar, like that. And then I'm just going to wipe the rims. So even though I haven't uh, used any anything with sugar, I still want to make sure that the rims are all clean because I don't want anything to affect the seal because I sure don't want to waste a jar of this delicious salmon. So we're just gonna wipe that off, get any kind of residue from the salmon. Yes, get out any scales that are hanging on there. And I've got my brand new lids. So, and again, you don't have to sterilize the jars when you're pressure canning because they're gonna be in the pressure canner for 90 minutes. So you don't have to sterilize the lids or the jars. So there we go. And I'm just gonna put my lid on, just finger tight, like that. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get these into the counter. And uh, we should have enough to do two layers and get them all in and get it all done in one 90 minute session. So we'll get them in the canner. Okay, we're gonna get all these jars into the canner. I have one layer in there. I am then going to put my tray in. That allows me to put another layer. You don't want the two layers touching. I'm going to put all my jars in. Then I'm going to close up my canner and turn it on and wait until it starts to come to a boil. And then we're going to set the timer. We, we put the weight on and let it uh, hiss and everything for 10 minutes, actually before we start the timer to make sure that the pressure is up and then we're going to set our timer for 90 minutes. All right, my canner's full, the lid's on, and I did check the seal on my lid first. 
Um, I got it all on tight. I've got my temperature on high and I'm going to wait until the steam starts hissing out of the top. When it really gets going, I will put my weight on. So we'll come back in a bit. Um, if you're already familiar with uh, pressure canning, you'll understand your own canner, which is what I do. So I'm going to go, I'll just take a little picture and insert it in. You can just see it while it's going, but it is going to be going uh, for 90 minutes and I don't usually go too far when the canner's on because you want to make sure that you keep it consistently. About every 20 seconds you want it to really start hissing and rocking. Um, so it does that about three times a minute. So you want to adjust the temperature to keep it like that. So I never go too far when I have the pressure canner running. So we will uh, get um, these all canned and then we'll come back and show you the finished product. Well, there we have it. 24 jars. I did have to put uh, one in the fridge that wasn't sealed, but 24 jars of fresh canned pink and Chinook salmon. So I'm pretty excited to get this on my pantry shelf. Hope you've enjoyed my video today and hope West Coast Grandma is keeping your interest. So if so, please subscribe and West Coast Grandma is signing out.